be okay. Do you? I'll be. want to talk We're done already? Okay. Yes. Okay. people around. Never see people in I think I like it. Yeah, it's all really new. Fine. You're one of the smartest people I've ever met. So, what do you think? Do you like it here, so The Lodge? Yeah, this place is huge! I've never seen anything like it! You must be like a don't I wish? This isn't mine alone. It belongs to everyone who's a part of the constellation. It should belong to you too, Sona. I want you to stay here and be your home. Whoa! Does that mean I get to go exploring with both of you? Or wait, do I get my own ship? Like a spaceship or a giant vault full of gems? Exactly. And don't worry, at the rate you're growing, it won't be long until you're grav jumping to unexplored star systems on your own ship. I understand. Oh, and don't worry, I learn real fast, so you better get ready to have another member of Constellation signing on for missions. I can't wait. Well, anyway, thanks for letting me stay here. I promise I won't let either of you down. I'm sure that you won't. Well. I think we should let Sona get settled. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like to visit the Colony War Memorial now. I want to, uh, to pay my final respects.
Thank you for everything you've done for me. Absolutely right. I do. Which is why we really need to talk about our friendship and where things are headed with us. Just let me have another moment here, and then we can head over to the waterfall, so we can talk in private. much further. I think I'll only carry the good stuff. <laughs> Just kidding. Thing for me? If you'll just bear with me, I promise I'll explain everything.
expecting me to jump down after you? I have a feeling today's going to be a great day. Don't you agree? I read an article about the old jokes diet. I think I'm gonna try it out for myself. When things at the lodge are too much, I love coming to this spot to just sort of, I don't know, melt away for a while. It's lovely here, isn't it? <laughs> I've been from one end of the settled systems to the other. But this place, this exact spot, there's nowhere else like it in the galaxy. I knew you'd appreciate it.
I usually come up here to mull over some of the heated debates we have at Constellation. You'd be surprised how many decisions I've made on this very spot. That's actually why I asked you to meet me up here. Thing. Very important. Good. Because I have a lot to say. It's about my return to Cassiopeia. What we learned about Sona has been constantly replaying in my mind. Oh, maybe it sounds crazy, but that young girl's isolation feels like a reflection of my own life. Don't get me wrong. Compared to Sona, I've had it easy. I've spent my life surrounded by all sorts of people. Constellation, the Navigator Corps... Hell... Even the UC military. Despite that, no matter how hard I've tried to make them a part of my life, they tend to drift away and disappear. Are you sure? For all we know, it's in my nature to keep people at arm's length. Or worse, push them away. Finding someone like that would be wonderful. Wait a second. What exactly are you saying? Ha! Huh. <laughs> Sorry, I am. Um, I just need a moment to gather my thoughts. I know you want to have a serious relationship. You want to become close. So, if you're willing to take that leap of faith with someone like me, then I'm ready to do the same. You're something truly special. You know that? You've helped me conquer my self-doubt, my confidence, hell, everything. For the first time in my life, I feel... complete. <laughs> and with you by my side, I'm convinced that feeling will last forever. You're the best thing that's happened to me in my life. I love you. Always. I received a message from my mother a few days ago. She's returned from another one of her sightseeing cruises. Oh, of course. I'm sorry. We never discussed this, did we? The thing is, my mother and I don't talk very much. We're not estranged or anything of the sort. We're just far apart. Sure, when you're younger. But as soon as you get older and they begin controlling your life, that's when you need to strike out on your own.
No. We should have discussed this a long time ago. You see, both of my parents were diplomats working under the flag of the UC Administrative Division. After I completed my basic education, they signed me up for a one-year apprenticeship in their department, without bothering to ask. Mm, wanted isn't the right word. Demanded would be more appropriate. For my apprenticeship, I was sent to Sidonia. My job consisted of drafting political policies and arbitrating trade disputes. The silver lining of the job was that it allowed me to spend time exploring every square inch of Mars. I was swallowed by it. Months before the apprenticeship ended, I dumped my diplomatic certification and joined the UC Navy. Of course, my parents didn't approve. We had a huge argument that resulted in all ties being severed between us. Well, that wasn't the worst of it. You see, my father was killed during the opening shots of the Colony War. I returned to Jemison for the funeral, and reunited with my mother. After that, we vowed to stay in touch. Oh, aren't you sweet? Always concerned with how I'm feeling. That's why I fell in love with you. Your smile, your caring. It brightens even my darkest days. Listen, I'm going to be completely upfront with you. All this talk of family, it makes me wonder where our own relationship stands. <laughs> you mean that? You do that? For me? I've been dreaming about this moment and still... I don't know what to say. <laughs> yes! Yes! Of course! Yes! Ah, I just need a little time to think about the ceremony. I have some thoughts about how we should move forward. You know, I used to dream about finding the love of my life. And here you are. All I ever needed was you, right here, beside me.
a modern city with walls. Hmm, quite a throwback, wouldn't you agree? I feel as though I've lived here all my life. I was teared up. I don't want it. Oh, Snoo! What? Our new potential recruit. She's standing, standing right, right here. here. Yeah, I said I know. I'm presence half been since she walked in the door. I said what I said. I stand by. Hair let me down. Got a lot strong. to prove around here. The alliance is strong and getting stronger by the day. You're prompt. Good trait for a tracker. Anyhow, we can talk about punctuality or we can get down to business. I am agent number one, or no one, if you prefer. It seems you've decided to entertain our offer. Good. Becoming a full fledged tracker is a dumb. Perhaps then you would consider a trial. 
to see if this is something you wish to pursue. Do you have any questions before we... Mission boards are merely a tool we use to expand our reach to freelancers who either do not have the capabilities or the desire to work with the Trackers Alliance in a more official capacity. To put it simply, those bounties are trifles compared to what official trackers deal with. They're lower risk, lower reward. Excellent. Before we accept you as an official tracker, you'll need to demonstrate competency in the field. To that end, I would like you to first accept the available bounty on the wanted display on the nearby wall, then report back to me. You ever want to learn from the best? I'm a guy. Standing around for when there's fugitives on the loose. Leave no quarter. Show no mercy. Good. You have your mission. Once you are a tracker, you may not get a briefing like this for your missions. You'll be expected to handle them by yourself. Excellent. I knew you could. The target for this mission is admittedly one of our toughest. Not because of how dangerous he is, but because of how often he has evaded us in the past. His name is Hannibal Eutropio. He's wanted for 94 counts of spaceship grand theft. We have reason to believe he runs a chop shop somewhere out in the fringes, but we do not know where. Luckily, we have intel that one of his associates, Adrastos Dakota, is currently here in Aquila City. For your first mission, you were assigned a partner, Roach. He will have more information. Speak with him. Roach is one of our best trackers. You would do well to learn from his techniques. I wish you the best of luck. Leave no quarter. Show no mercy. Yo, inevitable. What's up, Tank? You've been doing this a while, huh? Uh, the whole tracker thing, I mean. You could say that. And Roach hasn't been doing it nearly as long, right? But he keeps going on if about almost help, being I'm some here. crazy record streak or something. But like, Take care how's of that yourself. possible when you've been doing this for way longer than he has? Why don't you have the record? Well, well it isn't the rookie. Really hey, so, uh, about earlier, when you first arrived. Roach is out there chasing down easier targets to pad his record. I took the bounties that required me to do months of investigating him. Ah, got it. So, like, is he not as good as you then? Because that's kind of what it sounds like. Tank, you may need to slow down and listen. Right. You're not. Because when we're working Very together, good. you're going to follow my instructions so you can learn from a real professional. Okay. But between you and me, it still sounds like you're the better tracker. No comment. I know you think you're hot shit, but if you don't have the skills to back it up, the only tip I'll be asking you is where are all the best spots in the afterlife? Now let's get down to business. This Adrastos guy is our ticket to finding Hannibal. We find him, bring him in, and get the information out of him. Any questions? Great. Adrastos was last sighted in town. So we're going to go out there, and you'll use your scanner to find him. Once we do, we'll convince him to chat with us. By force, if need be. If you don't have any more questions, let's hit the road. I'd wish you luck, but we both know it's more about skill. There are always more bounties to collect. Glad to be on the same path as you. Eat. OK. 
Okay, Drastos is likely wandering the streets around here somewhere. For anyone around here. may need to check other areas. Always a pleasure. It was really good talking to you. Let's be certain to stock up on some extra ammunition before we explore the wilderness around the city. Hey there. Don't tell me you're going to eat that. 